Hello, my fashion lovers. Welcome to today's tutorial. Please, if you have not subscribed, click the subscribe button and put on your notification bell so that every time I drop a new video, you will be the first to see it and watch. All right, today we're going to be looking at how to get the perfect ample depth to avoid folds on the dress when you finish making a dress. Like sometimes when you make your dress, you notice that you have folds around the armpits. To avoid that excess folds around the armpits and to get the perfect ample so that after making a, a dress for your client, your client will not complain that the ample is tight. Please watch this video. This video is for you. It's going to help you to solve a lot of armpit problems. And how to get the perfect ample whenever you want to cut any dress and the perfect ample depth you need to cut any dress you want to cut please watch if you have any question you ask in the comment section please like share and comment on my videos please let's go to the cutting table <laughs> To begin, we'll be making use of our tape, our cup ruler, scissors, marker, and my notepad. I'll be writing some things on the notepad. To get started, to get started on how to get the perfect armhole for all your clients, we're going to take our starting points. We're going to take our starting point. We're going to state our This is going to be my starting point. The first thing we're going to do is to know the shoulder measurements we are working with. And the shoulder measurement I'm working with is 15. When you divide it by 2, it will give you 7 to mark it out. 7. And you come down by 1 inch for shoulder slope one inch for shoulder slope from here you can take your neckline we are working with three by three three by three the next video i'm going to show you how to take the right neck width for all the neck measurements you need to know so make sure you put on your notification bell and subscribe so that when the video drops you'll be the first to see it i'm going to connect from the neck to my shoulder slope the reason why we do this is because our shoulder is not straight our shoulder is not straight you have to take one inch to get your shoulder slope all right to go to what we have today how to get the perfect ample length or depth depending on the bust measurements you're working with depending on the bust measurements you're working with that would determine the ample length you're going to use for every client that is the first point that is the first way you can get your armhole length you're going to make use of the client's bust measurement if you have a client that has a bust of 36 let me write it out if your client's bust you're working with is 36 bust 36 that is the round circumference of the bust is 36. 
we are going to divide this 36 by 4. We are going to divide 36 by 4. Whatever you get, you are going to minus 1 inch. You are going to minus 1 inch from it to get the perfect armhole. If you're working with bus 36 or bus 40, anyone you're working with, 36 divided by 4 will give you 9. And 9 minus 1 inch will give you 8. So the perfect ample for this bust size is 8. The perfect ample depth for this bust size 36 is Eight. We are making use of 36 now to work with. We are making use of 36 to work with. And I said 36 divided by 4. We are working with your first measurement. will give you 9. And 9 minus 8 will give you... 9 minus 1 inch will give me 8. So this is where it will be. Ample depth. Ample Please, if you have any question, ask in the comment section to get your perfect ample depth. All right. Another way you can use to get this ample depth is by measuring your client's arm pit by measuring your client's arm pit after measuring make sure you put half inch for ease after measuring don't make it too tight and after measuring make sure you put half inch for ease i've given you the two ways you can use to get the perfect armhole depth. After imputing your armhole depth, this becomes your chest line. This now becomes your chest line. Your chest line. Chest line. This is your chest line. From your armhole, you get your chest line. Now, how do you get the perfect armhole curve? The perfect armhole curve. This, is, this will help you to avoid folds around the armpit when you're making a dress. It will help you to avoid folds on the armpit when you're making a dress the perfect ample curve how do you get it if you're working with a small bust if you're working with a small bust small bust small bust of 24 to 28 inches you're going to make use of one inch you are going to come in by one inch at the middle you're going to come in by one inch and if you're working with a medium sized bust medium sized bust 28 to 36 is medium you are going to come in by you are going to come in by three quarter inch you come in by three quarter inch and if you're working with a large bust large bust is 36 to 44 you are going to come in by half inch and you have you're working with extra large that is 44 to whatever to a 50 and above you're going to make use of one quarter inch you're going to come in 
by one quarter inch. I'm going to explain all these things. Small bust, 24 to 28 inches, you're going to come in by one inch. Medium, 28 to 36, you're going to come in by three quarter inch. And the large bust, 36 to 44, you're going to come in by half inch. And 44 and above, you're going to come in by one quarter inch. If you don't know how to get your uh, three quarter inch, one quarter inch of your tape. Please, I've made a video on how to get how on how to read your tape. I will link it in the description box so that you can go there and watch. Please. All right, let's go back to the tutorial. To get the depth, I've told you bust divided by four minus one. Your bust circumference you're working with divided by 4 minus 1. To get the perfect curve, to get the perfect curve, to get the perfect curve, you are going to get the middle of this armhole. You're going to get the middle of this armhole. And the middle is 4. The middle is 4. To get your armhole curve, I told you if you are working with a small bust, you come in by one inch. But the bust we are working with is 36. It's 36. So I'm going to come in by half inch. From this line, I'm going to come in by half inch. Half inch. That is what I mean. You're going to come in to avoid excess food after making your dress. Come in by half inch. Now I'm going to connect. The post I'm working with is 36 divided by 9 will give me divided by 4 will give me 9 plus 2 inches sewing allowance, depending on what you want. Let's take the curve from here. Instead of connecting on this line to avoid folds after making my dress, I will connect to this place. See what I'm talking about? This is only for the front. Do not use it at the back, please. Then I'll connect to the top. Can you see what I'm talking about? This is what we are talking about to get the accurate armhole depth and to get the accurate armhole curve for making a perfect arm fit outfit. With this, you won't have any issue making any outfits for any body. You won't have any issue with your client saying that, oh, my armpit is tight. This is the perfect tutorial you need and next tutorial i'm going to teach you how to get the perfect neckline how to get the perfect neckline if you have any question please do not hesitate to ask in the comment section and put on your notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video be the first to watch and please like subscribe and watch my video thank you very much